All right, March 18th, second problem of the day. We're working on multi-step equations. Charlotte did the first one for us. We're on our second one now. We got some fractions here, some addition and some, uh, the, 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 some, addition and some <coughs> subtraction. 5x over 9 plus x over 3 minus 13 ninths equals 1 third is our problem. Gentlemen and ladies, um, we have already determined outside of our video that we are going to simplify this problem by getting rid of the fractions. And the best way to get rid of the fractions would be to determine, to determine the least common multiple of the denominators of our fractions. And that would be what, everybody? Nine. Nine. So I am going to start my problem actually within my problem. And the first step that I would be grading would be multiplying everything by nine. And then the second step would be your cleanup. So when you multiply 5x over 9 by 9, you get what, everybody? 5x. 5x. When you multiply x over 3 by 9, you get what, everybody? 3x. 3x. And when you multiply negative 13 9 times 9, you get what, everybody? Negative 13. And we're going to set that equal to 1 third times 9, which is what, everybody? 3. 3. Does this problem look a lot more appetizing to solve? Yes. If we want to use a food reference here, um, than what the original does? Exact same problem, exact same problem, um, but no fractions now. So step number two then would be to what, everyone? S start simplifying, and the first step in your simplification of this problem would be to, everybody? Combine. Combine like terms. So our new problem is going to be listed as 8x minus 13 equals 3. And then we are going to add 13 to both sides. As you all know, and what I was meaning before, Charlotte, in your example, is draw that line here to show that you're adding that the line I was wanting you to draw. It's okay if you didn't. Um, we cleaned it up and we got 8x equals 16. Continue to work. Divide both sides by 8, as I know you're all very good at by now. And ultimately, we get an answer of x equals 2. We're going to box it. And we can plug it back into the fraction problem. We can plug it back into our new problem. Probably the best bet would be to plug it back into the fraction problem because that is the original just in case you mess something up here on your redo in case you did some wrong math and not your redo but you're cleaning it up or you're rewriting it um, and then you just punch it in your calculator to make sure that x equals 2 is a correct answer. If I were to score this problem and we're getting closer and closer to that 20 point math problem that I was promising you earlier you guys remember me talking about that? There's about a 20 or 21 point math problem that you're going to get to. Um, steps would be grade Point one, because I am requiring you, this is not an option. Even if you arrive at the right answer, I'm going to say when you're dealing with fractions, multi-step equations with fractions, you're going to get rid of the fractions, and you're going to simplify it into a problem without the fractions by using least common multiple of the denominators. So step one would be doing what I just told you. Step two would be clean up or rewrite. Step three would be combining like terms. Step four would be the beginning of your attempt to get the variable alone now. Step five is your cleanup. Step six is continuing to get the variable alone now. And your seventh point now is solving for x, or getting x as the final answer. So that is a seven point problem. Questions on that problem on how we did that problem? Question, yes, ma'am. Um, when you said x over 3 is 3x. x over 3 is 3x. Because if you are multiplying, so she's asking, about this part of the problem and this part of the problem. So we've got 9 times x over 3, which is the same as 9 over 1 times x over 3. 9 times x, when you're multiplying fractions, you just multiply straight across, right? Equals 9x. 1 times 3 is 3. Reduce that down to 3x, because 9 and 3 reduce. 3 and 1, right? Does that make sense? Question anymore?